Next, I want to talk about sound amplitude versus sound wave intensity. As shown in previous diagrams of the propagating sound wave, the peak and valley of the sound wave is denoted by P, or the pressure amplitude. If you square P, you get intensity, which is uh, a form of power density measured in watts per area. Ultimately, intensity I is inversely proportional to the density rho of the material as well as the uh, velocity of sound in the particular medium, C. So the equation that we're talking about here is I, standing for intensity, equals to P squared over 2 rho C. This formula is a reminiscent of the uh, electrical power equation where you have the power is equals to the voltage square over the impedance. In this case, the intensity I of the sound wave is the equivalent to the power. P square is equivalent to the voltage square. And the rho C is equivalent to the impedance. Let's do another question to review the uh, previous slide. Calculate the wavelength lambda in soft tissue for a beam frequency of 10 megahertz. Which equation will you use, first of all, to calculate wavelength? Correct. You're going to be using the lambda equals C over F equation. Possible solutions for this uh, question include A, 6.49 millimeters, B, 1.54 centimeters, C, 0.65 millimeters, or D, 0.154 millimeters. What do you think? Ah, perhaps uh, another equation is, uh, is a better usage. First of all, the answer to this question is 0.154 millimeters D. The question uh, wants you to think about using the 1.54 over uh, frequency uh, equation. Given that the frequency is 10 megahertz, if you divide 10 into 1.54 millimeters, you get 0.154 millimeters, which is the answer. Next, we'll be talking about acoustic impedance, which is defined by the variable Z. As you know, when you're dealing with the uh, analysis of a speed of sound, aside from the density, rho, and the temperature T, Z is a very important acoustic variable that we briefly touched on when we were discussing the intensity of sound waves, where intensity is proportional to the inverse of Z. Proper matching of acoustic impedances between two adjacent material is critical towards the proper transmission of the ultrasound wave into the soft tissue. Formally, acoustic impedance Z is defined as a product of rho, the density, and C, the speed of sound in the material of interest. The units of uh, measurement for a Z is rail, which is kilogram per meter square per second. If you look at the representative values of the uh, acoustic impedance of air, lung, and bone, you see a wide range, which mimic the uh, values that you observe for the velocity of sound in these materials. In terms of biological soft tissues, you see that they fall in a very tight range. Starting with fat, you have a, a Z value of 1.34 times 10 to the 6, increasing slightly to 1.48 for water, 1.65 for liver, and to 1.71 for muscle. Again, these values track the velocity of sound figures very well, very closely, and there's uh, no uh, wonder that these numbers are so close. Let's use what we not just learned about acoustic impedances to calculate and understand the wave reflection at the interface of two materials. When ultrasound beams uh, hit an interface uh, at the junction between two dissimilar materials, reflection and transmission of the incident sound wave will occur. If you look at a schematic of a, a diagram of two material, each with a different a Z value and density, so on and so forth, and you uh, introduce a ultrasound beam heading towards uh, into material one and landing at the interface between material one and material two, two things are gonna happen. The first event would be reflection of this uh, sound wave back uh, from the interface back towards the transducer. You will also have a transmitted wave that will 
continue to travel through the interface and into material 2. The significance of this uh, diagram is that the uh, reflected wave and the transmitted wave, their amplitudes should add up to the incident wave, assuming there are no loss in the interfaces. The calculation of the reflection coefficient will be the, uh, the key uh, finding or learning point in this slide, and this will directly uh, be using the acoustic impedances that we learned about in the previous slide. Officially, R is defined as the uh, amplitude of the sound of the reflected wave over the incident wave, and through a series of complicated um, calculations, which we're not going to go through uh, in this uh, lecture, the end result is that R equals Z2 minus Z1 over Z2 plus Z1. Some people like to look at the ratio of the intensity of the reflected wave over the incident wave. In that case, it's just a matter of uh, calculating R square, which in this case would be Z2 minus Z1 over Z2 plus Z1 square. Let's do an example to find out what R is for different materials. As an example, let's look at the uh, water liver interface and calculate the reflection coefficient R. This water liver interface could be, uh, an, a real life example could be, say, a person who has ascites. Uh, you have a uh, water uh, in front of the liver. In this case, Z1 would be defined as water, and Z2 would be the liver. As we go on, uh, plug in the numbers. For water, we know that the impedance is 1.65 times 10 to the 6. The uh, impedance for um, for liver, I'm sorry, is 1.65 times 10 to the 6, whereas for water is 1.48 times 10 to the 6. So if you subtract 1.48 from 1.65 in the uh, numerator and add 1.48 to 1.65, in the denominator, you will get a ratio of 0.17 over 3.13. The resulting reflection coefficient is 0.05. This means that 5% of the wave is reflected back towards the transducer, while the other 95% continues to propagate through the interface and into the liver. This is an example of a good acoustic impedance matching. As you can see in soft tissue, because the numbers are so close for different materials, that this works to our advantage. Another example would be to calculate R for a muscle-air interface. This could be something uh, that could happen in a person with trauma who ends up having subcutaneous emphysema. Then you're going to see uh, air surrounding muscle. In this particular instance, Z1 is defined as the muscle and Z2 is the air. What is the R? We're going to go through the same calculations that we did as the, in the previous example. Since the uh, 10 to 6 uh, magnitude is the same for both muscle and liver, uh, muscle and air, we're just going to concentrate on the, uh, the unitary uh, number. So air is very, very small, minus 1.71 divided by a very small number, plus 1.71. So basically you have minus 0.99. Almost all the signal is reflected back to the transducer. This is a very poor acoustic impedance matching example because all the sound wave is reflected at the interface. Let's do a question to review our concept of acoustic impedance. If the acoustic impedance on one side is five times that of the other, calculate the reflection coefficient r at the interface. So let's think about what equation to use. The possible answers for this question are A, 5, B, 0.2, C, 1.5, D, 0.66. Recall that the equation is R is Z2 minus Z1 over Z2 plus Z1. You may pause it, the, the, the video temporarily to figure out the answer. The answer, correct answer is D, 0.66.
If the acoustic impedance is five times greater on one side than the other, you expect a lot of reflection of the initial ultrasound wave. Plugging in the equation for R, you get 5 minus 1 over 5 plus 1. That equals 4 over 6, which becomes 2 thirds, or roughly 0 0.66.